All right, folks, now it's time for Off-Road Nation. Let's go. Hey there, Jamie here, Off-Road Nation. Just finished work, covered in concrete, dust, sawdust, got a car trailer on the back. Got a special treat here for you now. I'm just heading down to London, Ontario. Now, I know this isn't in our area, but you see, London, Ontario has Dave's Farm. And Dave's Farm is where I got all excited and started getting into the off-roading again. So this is really where Off-Road Nation started. So we're just fighting our way through traffic on Hunt Club here in Ottawa. We're going to go to my buddy Ryan's place, who you're going to meet shortly, and uh, we're going to pick up the car. We're going to Dave's Farm to destroy. And it's going to go out in Big Bang style, trust me. Whoa, a few pockets. Anyhow, signing off for now. We'll continue more. We'll do a little road trip video for you. How does that sound? Bye bye. Now, for those of you that don't know about Dave's Farm, it's located down by Lucan, Ontario, real close to London. And this here is just a quick shot in the driveway. I'm parked there waiting for Dave to show up. And this here is Dave. Now Dave's just giving me a quick little tour. We'll show you a little bit more about this later on in the show. But he's showing me his little lookout point where he spends every evening overlooking his little paradise there. It's all wired for beer coolers and sound. Say hi to Dave though, folks. Hell of a nice guy. Here he is showing how he got famous on YouTube. He's making a few videos of doing crazy things with truck tape. Just basically being a redneck, just like me. Well, let's get back and uh, show you the redneck roller coaster here too. There it is. Yeah, we have a lot more on that later too. I'll just let you watch this for a little bit. And this here, well, I don't know how to explain this, but it has a name I can't say on TV, and I'll leave uh, making up your own a name to your own imagination. I just don't even know what to say here. Just thought I had to show it though. Look at that smile. All right, folks, I just want to take this time to remind everyone, not I do not encourage anyone to attempt the stunts they're about to see. I'm a pro, kinda, and these are controlled circumstances with the supervision around, and help if we need it, and tools and everything else in case something bad happens, they can get me out of the car and then, okay? So, uh, you know, I don't encourage anybody just to grab a car and go driving around the field and jump it off something, videotape it. Oh, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Anyways, let's get to it. I want you guys to meet my friend Ryan from work. How you doing? Hey, we both work for the local 93 in the construction. And uh, right now he's kind of my boss. But he's donated a Saturn to us here to take the day's farm. I'm a good boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now Dave, or Dave, I'm going to day's farm. I'm taking Dave all the time. Here. Stop, you call me Dave again. All right, all right, Ryan. What's the history with you in this car? I hate it. It uh, broke down every month. It cost me 300 bucks every time uh, for a total of what, seven, maybe eight thousand dollars over a year. And uh, I want to trash it. Okay, well, we can do that. Excellent. Now, how long? Oh yeah, we can kill it. Two years. Two years. Hasn't ran. Hasn't been started. Nope. Just been beat on a bit with that. Yep. Uh, that felt good. Therapeutic. Very cheaper psychotherapist. All right, so what we got is my truck's all hooked up here. You got your car all hooked up. Let's hope the cable connection's good. I'm gonna start my truck and see if this puppy will go. Awesome. Off of yours, I'll get mine going. All right, buddy, give her a shot. Oh, that looks promising. If this don't go, we'll put some gas in her. Alrighty, folks, we have our victim that's alive and ready. Now that's loaded. Okay, this time okay, first up, I took a shot of loading the car. Just destroyed the tires. Not so successful. Alright, how we looking? Good, come on up. And then Ryan took his shot. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Oh, okay, sorry. Just straight up on, right? You and the second shot. Can you tell we're not professional at this?
God, I hate Toronto. Now, the road trip included a lot of driving, and of course, me just trying to tape a TV show get a train through uh, the drive through at the same time. <laughs> road trip to London. Yeah. So, might as well give us your name so we can throw it on there. Nicole. Nicole? Well, thank you for the coffee, Nicole. No You've been on Off Road Nation now. <laughs> See you later. Now, poor Nicole probably still going, what the heck was that? Alrighty, folks. Well, I'm here at Dave's farm. I'm on the property. I called Dave and he told me I had to get in there without uh, opening the gate. A little sneaky spot. I've had some time to modify the car a bit in case you want to have a quick look at her here. Alright. A bit of a flame job on it. All we gotta do is stick a tire in her. She's ready to run. I've checked all the fluids. Everything else. And then it was time to modify the car. <laughs> if I could work this fast in real life, I'd be making a lot more money. Ah uh, yes, finally got the right tool for the job. Hey, a little more helpful advice from Dave. A little cutting, and we're ready for a test drive. <laughs> Time to rock. Bert, you set up the cameras, then Dave gives you a little surprise. Our first test for the Saturn was Sky Hill. Basically just a straight up, almost 80 degree climb to the top, with a little bit of air at the end hopefully. Now the approach angle ain't that great, but you can get enough speed if you avoid the water. Oh yeah, and keep control of your car in the mud. You know, the occasional uh, donut does happen. Here we go with try one. Like I said, the water. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Heck, coming back down is fun, though, too. Here we go, try number two. A little more speed. Well, that was a little better. And here we go on attempt number three at Sky Hill. Trying to go a little bit faster again. And I did it backwards just to make it a little more interesting. <laughs> Yep, no brakes and headed for the beach. Oops. You've left debris in my path. Pick up that debris. So after one final attempt at you know, picking up a few car parts, Dave took me on a little tour of his farm. This here is a shot of his dozer. Runs on anything. Uh, check out his site. Like I said, David's Farm on YouTube. You'll see what he can do with that puppy. That's how he made the whole place. Yes, folks, this is the first hand view of Tabletop. This is the jump I'm going to be hitting in a few minutes. This is where we got the air and a lot more impressiveness. But onward and up with Dave's tour here of his little playground.